young and up-and-coming filmmaker Andre Anton. He has a new independent movie that he wants everyone to see and know about. It will be at the Detroit Independent Film Festival and the Uptown Film Festival. We'll give you the details in just a moment. But first of all, thank you for coming in. How does it feel sitting here? You're from here, yeah? How does it feel sitting here to talk about your movie? Uh, it feels great, and, uh, and I appreciate you inviting me out here, Lee. It's an uh, exciting uh, part to be a part of the uh, Uptown Film mm -hmm. Festival and the Detroit Independent Film Festival. Uh, this is where I worked on the project mm -hmm. for the most of the time, and uh, I'm very happy to be kind of premiering it here as well. Well, tell us, first of all, it's called Defying Deletion, right? Yeah. Uh, and tell us exactly what the film is about. I know it has a longer title, and give everybody kind of synopsis of what your passion has been in this film. Sure. The, the movie, the complete title is called Defying Deletion, The Fight Over Iraq's Nineveh Plains. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about a consequence of the war that is rarely, if ever, discussed. Um, it deals with the indigenous people of Iraq, mm -hmm. the Assyrians. They've been there for thousands of years. They've been there before Arabs, mm -hmm. Turks, Kurds entered into the region. Mm -hmm. And now they find themselves facing uh, persecution and, and exodus from their ancient homelands. Mm. Now, what, it, it, the, it, the, are Chaldeans uh, Assyrian? Yeah, Kelde Kel well, my family comes from a Chaldean Catholic background, mm -hmm. as well as a Syriac Catholic background. And they're uh, Christian. And they're Christian. These, these are names of churches. Um, essentially, the, they, they, they've been taken on almost as their right. own identities, because in the right. Middle East, that's how it is. It's, it's either your Arab, uh, or you never discuss that if you're Arab or not. You always say you're Sunni, Shiite, right. or whatever, you know, or Chaldean, or Syriac. I understand. But these, I understand. Are, these are, you know, religious names, but ethnically they're Assyrian. All Assyrian, I understand. Now, what, what about this uh, 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 project that got you, because you seem like a very young man, and got you passionate enough, and how long did it take you to bring this to the big screen? It took about two years, and what got me is is that I have a stake in it. You know, this yeah. is my culture. Um, I noticed that nobody was doing a film about these people, and they weren't doing it in the right way. They were calling them Iraqi Christians, right. and and undermining their reasoning for being in Iraq in the first place. They're the indigenous people of that land, mm -hmm. and that's why they deserve to be there and sustain there for thousands of more years. You know, they don't mind living with other people, um, but in the process, they don't want to be persecuted and removed while those other people are taking over their lands. Now, now, is this film accessible for everyone? Is this something everyone should come and see? I, I, I strongly suggest seeing this film. This is something that is, it's about humanity. Mm. And it's about people that are, that are being ignored. They're, they experienced a genocide in World War I. Mm -hmm. And because that genocide was not acknowledged, it's been pretty much a continuation and ongoing persecution, almost to the point where Within probably 10 years, they won't exist in their homeland. Now, I like what you're doing with your production company. We've got just a few seconds left. It's called Lamasu Productions, and you want to make films that have purpose like this. Yeah, make films that have purpose, make films that are culturally uh, accepting. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of people in the industry that want to work but can't because for whatever reason, mm -hmm. they don't fit the profiles of whatever Hollywood films are, are coming out. And so I kind of want to diversify the film industry with, uh, with Lamasu. Well, I look forward to your film going all over the world and teaching many people about a culture they might not know about and the fight and the struggle that uh, could involve us all. Yep. Uh, thank you very much, man. Hey, thanks for Pleasure. having me. You're welcome on the Big Brown Couch anytime you want to <laughs> film. Take a look at your screen. All the information is for the two different festivals where you can see Defying Deletion, second annual Detroit Independent Film Festival. That's the 9th through the 12th. Your film debuts on the 9th at 7.30, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. right at the Rinson. Also, Uptown Film Festival as well. Big weekend. We're going to talk a lot more about that. If you want more information, you can go to our website. That's myfoxdetroit.com and check the mornings page.